Hey there folks, let's continue with this series of videos to introduce you this really nice tool Dice Hot. So you will find the link in the video description, but <clears throat> feel free to join the website. It currently is in beta, but hopefully it will go full online very soon. So as I said previously, it is a tool for real-time collaboration for fluid dynamic simulation, but it's done just to interface any tool within this very nice web-based uh, <coughs> GUI. So for the moment we have OpenFun uh, linked, so I will work in this in those videos, but the plan is to add new tools, okay, to have this collaborate, uh, <coughs> this environment for, for, for collaboration. So the previous video I was working and I work in this tutorial, the Amit, Amit body the base case so this one is just to show you a little bit some things about the graphical user interface now the collaboration actions so let's revisit that so in my case <coughs> here i have this project and i will focus and all these videos will focus in this project so feel free just to duplicate this project just to show you that here we have the community tab so if you click here and you're going to see many projects that the community has <coughs> has shared. So basically this is a project that I created. So if you want to duplicate this one to work in this and just click there and it's going to give, you know, the short uh, description and so on. And you have the options to open a preview. So this is a preview. You can see the case setup and so on, but you are not able to run the simulation or <coughs> to do modifications. So here you have the, the warning. So just to do the simulations, modify the case, you need to uh, duplicate it. So you can go that we go back here and just to duplicate here, you have this tab, just click there and you are going to create a duplicate. Okay, so you're going to choose, you need to choose where do you want to duplicate it. So let's say that I want to duplicate it here in test two. And now I have my duplicate of that case. It's okay, exactly the same status that, that I have it when I was working, or if I outdate it in, so <clears throat> sometime later, you will get you will get the last state. So let me go back to the horn, and as I mentioned here, go here. As you go here, you will see my new project. This is the that I duplicated here, and now I'm free to just <clears throat> modify this case, do whatever you want. So in this case, I will right click. And I will delete, delete that. I don't want it there. Let me go back to my home. And this is just the first important option there, community. So if you're going to start to use this, this tool and if your cases are not confidential, we invite you to share that, okay? We want to grow the community around all the users. Then we have templates. See, these are the templates for the solvers that we have already worked. So, so far, what we have implemented it's quite easy to implement new workflows but we are implementing a robust workflow so we are testing okay all the case setups to be sure that everything can go into production but it's rather easy to implement new ones using new solvers like interphone raw simple phone raw pimple phone and so on okay so so far we have implemented the workflow for incompressible solvers okay so we have steady state and transient so so far they were fine and also we have one workflow formation. So we're going to implement new workflows, very robust, okay? So proud is you are an open fund user, you know that sometimes with the boundary layer and some other options, it's tricky to get good measures. So we're going to implement more advanced actions. And this one is just the general workflow. So this is very powerful and this will let you basically uh, set up any, any, any case, any solvers and any open form. Uh, version. So later we're going to explain how to use this, but, but for instance, I click there in use template and here you have the option to, to choose your software. So for instance, look at that. We have all these, so you can use the foundation version, ESA version. We have also the extend version and so on. And we have different versions. Okay. Depending. Okay. So this is built daily. Okay. So this is a let's say the most flexible one, a little bit trickier to use, but later we're going to dedicate a video for that. So for instance, remember from the previous videos that if you want to create the mesh here, just click there. Okay. Use this template. 
import the geometry and that's all you have your project and then you can change the name remember to click here rename law geometry and so on so the next video we're going to sh revisit that this one is just for collaboration but something interesting that i want to show you here about this collaboration section so see here that you have the j here this means that it, that is my user okay i'm working there but i can share this case so see that you have this tab here share so as you click there see that here you have a an address a web address to this project so you can share this with the community okay and then people can log in so by the way you will need to give access to to that people if you you want them to uh, to modify so later we're going to visit that but now i want to to to, to go to this tab publish to community so this is the one that you publish that case into the community so as you go here publish just get some description and that's all and later also if you want to publish you're going to have that action but coming back here so see that you can share with the with the community you can upload the whole community to edit or to start run simulations and so on so be careful with that because if you have let's say your account your credit card anybody will be able to do that so let's say that i recommend i don't recommend you to use this one here there is another option that later i will show you that you can create your own personal group so this is a group for the whole web which can be a little bit dangerous but let me copy this address and just to show you that if i go here i put it here i will have access to that com uh, to that document okay let me go here and let's see ta -ta 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 -ta. okay let me copy this occurring okay so i put this one copy and now I have access to the document and see that and let me put the tab next to the other so we have here and, and see that you have two icons here okay so anonymous so see that here you have the underline so this is an anonymous user so I'm not able to modify this one I can follow back what the other user is doing this is the case because I'm sharing an anonymous so see that DJ here means that my standard user so see that this is the cool features that I can follow the other user, user, I can see what the other user is doing. So whatever he's using, doing, okay, I can replicate it in my screen. So see that there you have the mouse and you can see whatever he is clicking, okay? So for the moment, this user cannot do anything. Remember that is it's an anonymous user, but if you log in as a standard user and if you have the right to modify the case, okay you will be able to do anything there so i see that in this tab we can attach the view you have this option so with a brief explanation there so you have the tool over the <clears throat> the, the, the the tool tips there okay and yeah this is what we really like about this one as mentioned that we're focusing a lot of in training so we consider that this is a very powerful option now to do trainings or if you are doing consultancy and just guide now your mentee to follow whatever you are doing so it's very powerful option okay something similar for those who has used uh, on shape something similar to what is happening on shape so just to show you that tool okay so let me go back so we have seen how to share now the cases with the community and when i mentioned that uh it's better to share share cases with your specific communities. You go here in settings, main settings, and um, sorry, here in members, you can add new members, okay? So you can look here for the other member, okay? So let me look for this specific member, and you can add it to this project, and now this specific member will have access to that document. So this is the best way to do it, here in the members tab of that specific project, okay? So we address community templates, uh, explore. Okay, here you can explore the different projects by user. So you have the whole community, you have also groups. So later we're going to, to talk about groups, but this is like if you have worked with GitLab or GitHub, you see doing versioning and that kind of stuff. Okay, so you have a lot of collaborations options. So let's go back here to the Amet case. Okay, so let me enter to this case. Okay, the one that I was working previously. 
So remember that you can share your case here, okay? Or you can give access to the users in your in the other way. Now that I show you here, you go back to your home and you enable for this specific project here, you enable you the, the user that you want to give access. So let me click here, okay? And just to revisit options here, you can rename, you can switch the app, move here. We have the mesh, if you want to change to another solver or app, do it there. If you want to delete this one, you can delete here. You have some settings here, okay, local settings. Then here you have the help, okay, very useful. So they are working on this hell also to build it a very uh, <clears throat> detailed, now to have a very detailed documentation what is happening. So also, I by you just to to click there okay here you can duplicate and then here you have some other settings okay later we go into more details with more advanced options okay but let me go here this is specific to to, to machine so probably you know that uh in the snap you have many options so we're hiding those options from the user okay so we put it here and you are also free to, to, to change, but here we're giving you the most robust option. So later we're going to work more in this workflows. So let me go back also here and see that you have this icon here. That means that you have grown a X dominant mesh snappy. And this one here is telling you that you have one execution or you run one case in the cloud and so on. Okay. So you can click here, you can delete. Okay, let me delete this one. And if I right click here, I can duplicate it. Okay, so see that you have your duplicate there. You can rename here. So let me see, let me call it Ahmed V2. Okay, so see here that you now create, you can create now different versions of that case. Okay, let me close here. And I have this version and now you can do whatever. As I mentioned, there is no save button nowhere, so everything is saved automatically. So in theory, you have unlimited undos that you don't see the undo button there, but everything is saved automatically. Later, we we were going to add that undo button. So we work in the previous case, you not know, in these auctions. Later, we're going to show you more advanced auctions. So. Basically, see that it's extremely easy to duplicate cases. And the other option that I want to show you is the versioning. So as you go here, see that you have main steps. Here you have some other options related to the files that you have that later we visit that. Okay, and these are your template. But this is the interesting one, versioning. So here you can create new configurations or versions. Okay, so if you are familiar with GitHub or Unshape, this is what we're doing. So here we have one version and let me create a second version and I will call it version two of this case that we clone. So here you have this version two and so on and you can create more versions. Let me create, create B3. So each of these versions that now you have here is you move here and now I go here. Now in version three, you have it here, okay, all your versions, and you can set up different boundary conditions or different cases. So you can run parametrical case. So sit later also, we're going to de <coughs> deploy that environment to set up this uh, <coughs> parametrical case or optimization cases. For instance, it can be done using Dakota if you're familiar with that tool, okay? So also you can come back here and you can just erase those versions there. So remove and remove and we have the starting version. Okay. So basically, yes, these are the basic options. So I invite you get familiar with this, with your environment. Okay. So visit your project. Later we talk about these groups. You have user settings and so on. Okay. And then you can, in this screen, screen, you can right click, you can duplicate easily, or you can enter into the specific case and then do duplicates there or do versioning. And the most important thing that I would like to stress is when checking cases, I recommend you to do it here in the members tabs, okay? A specific members. So you do it inside the project, okay? And let me go, ahead, go, <clears throat> go back. You will share that with the whole community. So, probably might be a little bit dangerous because if you click in a specific auction, okay, maybe you are giving access to the whole community also to, <clears throat> to, 
to launch simulations and it's going to use your computing time okay so it's better to do it outside rather than in here and if you want to share your your cases whatever you are doing do it here so you publish and you're publishing that to the general community so when you publish the community cannot modify that case and just to show you here and yeah i mean let me call it like that i publish okay and if i go view page okay you only can see that case okay so if you want to modify this one the user needs to have an account and be and duplicate it when you can dupl duplicate the case it becomes yours and you can do whatever you want okay so for instance i'm here and let's say that i don't want to share this case anymore just and publish and that's all the case is not shared anymore with the community and that saying that you are sharing all goes here okay so i erase it but it was supposedly there okay so that's all for this video okay stay, stay tuned with new videos we're going to move into more machine and also steady simulations okay thank you for your attention and have a great day bye